Hey guys, this is Apollo and Synergy from Razer Gaming. You alright guys? And we're back with our second Volts tutorial in which we'll be covering universal electricity and basic components. Uh, so we'll show you how to power your um, basic machinery. Um, so Synergy has set up uh, another station just like in the previous video, just to uh, make it easy for me to show you how to make the different components. And while I make this video, he'll be back in the background making another uh, station for our next tutorial. See you later, guys. So, uh, the first thing I'll show you how to make is a wrench, which is a very useful tool. Uh, you'll require it to disassemble machinery safely, and also to turn it around so you, you can turn it to face the direction you want it to face. So, uh, the first thing, it's very simple to make. All you need is three steel ingots and a diamond. It is a bit expensive to invest diamond into straight away, but it is well worth it, and like I said, you'll require it to disassemble things safely. So uh, just follow this pattern here. You've got um, steel ingots in the top, right, and the bottom left, with the diamond and dead in the middle, which makes a wrench. Very simple and a very useful tool. Uh, so the next station, I'll show you how to make a coal generator. Uh, on the next station after that, it's battery box, and after that, I'll show you how to make an electric furnace. But the first thing you'll require to make the coal generator is an insulated copper wire. So I'll show you how to make those. It's very similar to the the ones on Techit. It's copper ingots, but instead of rubber, you've got leather. So you put the uh, leather on the sides like so, and the copper in the middle, which makes insulated copper wire. Uh, next, you need to turn the copper wire into insulate uh, into sorry the insulated copper wire into copper wire. So you put that anywhere on the crafting table. It can be like I, like I, like, you can, like you can see here. It can go into any slots on the crafting table, and uh, there you go. You've got a copper wire. Uh, the next thing is steel ingots. I've already shown you how to make steel ingots in the previous video. Just put the dust into the furnace, uh, which makes steel ingots. The next thing you need is a motor. So you've got the recipe right here. You've got copper wires, steel ingots, and an iron ingot. If you take it to a crafting table, you've got copper wires in the corners, steel ingots in the top, right, left, and bottom, and you've got iron ingot in the middle, which makes a motor. The next thing is steel plates. Very simple to make. All you need is four steel ingots, and uh, you can put them in the four squares around any, co any corner. It could be this corner here, or that corner here. Any corner would work, and that makes one steel plate. So now you've got all the con components to make a coal generator. So oh, you also need to make bronze ingots, which we've also which we've also covered in the previous video. You also need furnaces. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to make those either because that's a very basic Minecraft item. It's been it's been around since vanilla, so everyone should know how to make those. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to make one of those. So just like it was in the chest, you've got furnaces on the left and right, bronze ingots on the bottom, steel plates on the in the corners up top copper wire there and the motor in the middle and there you go you've got a coal generator and here's the final product the finished product it does require coal to run obviously uh, to make electricity but that covers the uh, coal generator so now I'll show you how to make a battery box which you require to store power and redirect it elsewhere should you wish to so what you'll need is uh, three batteries so I'll show you how to make those uh, you're gonna need 15 tin ingots uh, three redstone and three coal to make that. So just like it was in the chest, one to three, one to three, one to three, like that. You put the coal in the bottom and redstone there, and that makes batteries. I don't know. They, I don't think they stack. No, they don't. Um, again, you're gonna need another steel steel plate. Gonna need a couple of those. Uh, to make this, so just take that over to the crafting table, like I said just before. It could be any of those corners, it will work anywhere. Uh, another insulated copper cable, very simple. Again, just grab the leather, copper ingots, just like I showed you before on the sides, and copper in the middle, that makes insulated copper cable. Again, turn it into wire, so I'm just going to use these quickly to make the normal wire. And here we go to make the uh, battery box. So just like this uh, recipe before, you actually require four batteries, not three. Um, so and you require three copper cables and some steel plates. So I'm just going to grab all of these. You're going to put those around the sides. Sorry, I'm making this wrong. Like so. And... 
there we go finally managed to get it but that's that's the recipe and it is one battery box so there you go um like i said this is the finished product the battery box stores power so just like the mfe's from ticket uh, very simple the next and last station is the electric furnace so it's just one of the tools that will uh, one of the machinery that actually uses power to make something so uh very similar to the other one, you've got bronze plates, so what you need is bronze ingots. It's exactly the same pattern as the uh, steel ingots, but just with uh, bronze. So, take it to a crafting table, any corner will do, once again. Uh, the next thing is basic circuit, that's where the uh, bronze plate comes in. You also need redstone and some more wire. So I put the plates in the middle, redstone there, and there you go you've got a basic circuit another thing that is using quite a lot of machinery here in uh, here on vaults and that brings us to the final recipe you also need still ingots for this recipe but we've already showed you how to make those so just to make it a bit quicker we skip that step you also need another motor uh, just pop that in the uh, craft crafting table like so you surround these by the still ingots the motor goes on the bottom not the middle and here you go you've got electric furnace the electric furnace, just like it, just like on Tech, it, it just cooks, cook, uh, cooks things, and smelt things a little bit quicker than your normal furnace. So so far, we've shown you how to make three more bits of machinery. You've got the coal generator to generate power. You've got the battery box to store your power, and an electric furnace, which is just a faster version of the uh, um, stone furnace, but it takes power to run. Uh, before we conclude this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to wire it up. So. Synergy has set up another station here, which is clearly showing how the wiring works. So one thing you need to remember about volts is that, just like the sciences here, you've got red side is an input, black side is an output. So on this machine here, for example, the battery box, you've got a red square. That's where you want the power to go out, to go into, and a black square to go out. So the way it's set up here, you've got a coal generator, black square, the power is going out, into the red square to input the power. Into our generate, uh, into our battery box, and again, black square input it out to power whatever you want it to do, and again, red square to power the uh, furnace. So just to quickly demonstrate, you've got the coal in there. This is, as you can see, that it's running, and then uh, it's powering the power, uh, the battery box, which in then turn I can put the rot chicken in here, and it starts cooking it for us. It's not the fastest way. The coal generator is not the fastest way to power our machinery but it is very simple and uh, we'll cover the the other or better ways of powering it in the next tutorial. Uh, in this next station here which is Synergy uh, working on now what we wanted to do is um, you've got the two bits of machinery that we've made in the previous tutorial you've got here you've got the enrichment chamber and the metallurgic infuser now beforehand we showed you that you can power them using redstone but they can also be powered using a coal generator. So again, I'm just gonna get myself some coal. Get a few pieces going, I'm gonna put that in the coal generator, which then st will start powering this, uh, this battery box once it gets enough power in. Hurry up, let's go now. It should start powering it now. It'll take its time. But as you can see, it's already powering it before it actually reaches the battery box. And I think it's because it's, it's taking it directly through it. Because because the power's being used, it doesn't have to store it. That's right, yeah. So it does, um, like as soon as you say, it, it, like, as you can see, it's already putting power in the battery. But it's actually capable of running it um, straight. It doesn't require the battery to, be, uh, to power them either. So if you don't want to keep the battery box around, which I would recommend anyway, but if you don't want to keep it around, you can just directly plug it in into these machines. Now the difference between these machines and normal ones is they do not they don't have these um, red squares behind them. I don't I'm not really sure why. This one two. does. It just you can't see it with the wire there, but it does have it. This one. Oh, it does. Look at that. So this one does actually have the red square. This one doesn't. I think it's just because of its texture. But uh, I'm not really sure whether you can plug it in anywhere or not. Do you know if you can do that synergy? I don't know, we'll test it. So we'll go ahead and test it. And, uh, it does seem to be working. Yeah, um... No, you can... Yeah, you can, yeah, you can. You can well, see the green go. bar on the right hand side keeps refilling, so... Okay, there you go. So uh, it just seems that on the... Uh, 
the en enrichment chamber. You can actually plug it anywhere and it works. We, and there's another thing I want to mention, we do use the insulated copper cable or copper wire to uh, use as sort of the power conductor. You can use the um, the normal copper, uh, copper wire. We just feel like this is a better thing. We don't know whether it's better or not, but I think we just we just feel that the copper wire is more of a sort of like a material or, a, or something that you require to craft like other machinery. So that's why we use the insulated copper wire, but like I said, you can use both. So um, this concludes this tutorial of uh, basic components and universal electricity. In the next tutorial, we'll cover some uh, more efficient ways of powering your machinery. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you liked the video, if you liked the tutorial, make sure you like, uh, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.